Bye, guys. until I fix it. But hi guys, it's your girl Tish and back with another video. It's been like a week since I dropped a video and I know some of y'all been in my DMs and y'all been on my ass. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But um, so this video, this video is just gonna be, I don't know if I'm gonna make it like a day in my life or if I'm gonna make it like a week in my life where I do multiple days because today I'm really not doing much but I'm about to eat some chick. Really nigga? Them birds loud as fuck. I'm about to eat some Chick-fil-A and then I'm about to go get a piercing. So basically, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do my frog eyes, if I want to do my back dermals. If y'all don't know what frog eyes is, let me show y'all a picture. And if you on my if you in my spam, then I ask y'all to vote. But so this is a frog eyes. Y'all probably can't even see that shit, but it's like right there. And then back dermals, of course, is the back piercings, but a lot of a lot of y'all voted for me to get back dermals and i want to get back dermals but y'all i'm so scared for that pain and i don't i'm about to go to the piercing shop by myself and i feel like if i get back dermals i'm gonna need somebody to sit there and hold my hand because if y'all don't know whenever they do dermal piercings they're literally like digging into your skin in order to put the hole for the jewelry to go in and i know i got a lot of piercings i know i got a lot of tattoos but digging in somebody's skin i don't know i just feel like i need somebody there with me for emotional support and also one of my friends on instagram she was like with back dermals you can't be emerged and submerged into water for like three to six months or some shit like that i don't know and baby it's about to be summer i don't know if i'm gonna be in somebody pool or what so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get the frog eyes on my tongue and i'm probably gonna ask the piercer about the back dermals like if the how long you can't be submerged in water and all that but yeah so after i eat i'm gonna like call around because y'all know i'm new to texas um so i'm gonna call piercing shops around to see who do the frog eyes because i know like a lot of piercing shops with certain piercings they won't do them like my snake eyes in baton rouge my normal piercing shop that i went to they didn't they don't i mean not snake eyes my smiley um my normal piercing shop they didn't let me roll the window up because i feel so awkward just talking fuck it Tish, get used to it but anyway uh yeah my smiley piercing my normal piercing shop didn't do them so i had to go somewhere else so i'm gonna just call around and see what piercing shop has good reviews and which piercing shop does the frog eyes and then we just gonna go there so i'm gonna take y'all with me um after i do the piercing shop i'm not sure what else i'm gonna do i might just go home but yeah, I don't know. I feel like today gonna be a chill day and I think it's supposed to rain. So honestly, I might just make this like a week in my life vlog, like just do a few days. But yeah, I'm about to eat. Oh, let me put y'all on right quick. Cause I'm not gonna eat on camera. Cause y'all, I'm about to really nigga stuff this down my throat because I don't want to get no piercing on no empty stomach. Cause what if I pass out or something? But let me put y'all on y'all. I be getting the the deluxe sandwich. Y'all, I get the chick-fil-a macaroni so goddamn good but i get they macaroni and i add bacon bits into it y'all and i know i know it sounds so big back i didn't figure out why my camera seems so dark i know it seems so big back y'all but man it's so good y'all and i was so hurt the other day because i tried to pull up on sunday on um to chick-fil-a and i forgot chick-fil-a be closed on sundays and i really wanted this so so bad so yeah i'm about to go ahead and eat this and then I'll probably start back recording once I um, start calling some piercing shops. I'm gonna also try to figure out why the hell do I look so dark? I don't know, but I'll be back guys. I just called like three freaking piercing shops. Two of them didn't answer. One of them answered and they said they don't do the frog guys. They just do basic tongue piercings. I'm annoyed cause I'm like, somebody need a phone cause I'm not finna drive to these piercing shops just to be turned down at 
when I walk in, they say they don't do it. So it's like, answer the phone, cause baby, I just ate that big bag meal and I'm real tempted to go get up in my bed. So somebody need to answer the phone or it's, it's gonna give no piercing today. I'm trying to remember who I called. I know I called them. Hi, yes. I was trying to see, do y'all do the frog eyes, uh, tongue piercing? Um, we don't do tongue or piercing. Okay, thank you. Gotcha, bitch! Truth is, I'm tired. Like, what tattoo shop don't do fucking piercings? What the fuck? I literally put piercing shops. Maybe I should've just got this done in Louisiana, because this is annoying. Like, I'm thinking Houston, since it's just a bigger city. Hello? Hi, yes. I was trying to see, do y'all do um, frog eye tongue piercings? Yes, ma'am. Frog eyes is 40. It's 40? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Y'all should just say hello. Like, no, hi, this is such and such from, but whatever. Okay, so they do it. Let me check the reviews. They got 4.8 stars. Let me see how far they are from me. Y'all, I'm so, like, full. And hopefully they let me film in there. 20 minutes. Cute. 22 minutes because the 20 minutes is with the damn toes yeah I, that's just the one downfall i really hate about houston everything be far bro like damn i think i'm gonna just go ahead and go there all right guys um, so i'm gonna take this 20 minute drive and then i'm gonna get back to y'all when i get there like i said hopefully they let me record so that y'all can see the process <sighs> We'll see in 20 minutes. A few moments later. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm doing a vlog. Hello, my little 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 Lower. Okay, yeah, I'll take this one. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the mouth and uh, I'll go ahead and mark it down before I do it. Okay. Can you go ahead and clean your mouth with this? Mm -hmm. Put it back in the cup. Go ahead and buy green spoon, the green spoon area? No. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to stay on the side of the mouth. Over there? Yeah. And you always do blocks? Yeah, well, I started not too long ago. Uh -huh. How's it going? It's going good. I'm trying to get more consistent okay. with That's doing good. it. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be shy. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm going to be shy. That's how I am, especially like with pulling the camera out in public. Uh -huh. I'm like trying to get more open with it. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, when I really think about it, like one time I was in Walmart and I was real shy, and I was like, people really don't even be paying attention for real, for real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I think you can hold it with that. Okay. Do y'all do back dermals too? Yeah, I do back dermals. Okay. So I do those a lot. All right. And open your mouth. Take your tongue out. Pump it up. Okay. Stand up and look at it. See if that's that's how far you want it, or more to the back, more to the front. <laughs> No belly piercings. I only have the basic ones. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, girl. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two. It's done. See your turn. Show it to the video. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that bad. So your tongue might get swollen for two to three days. It's normal. Make sure you use a lot of mouthwash every time you eat, every time you smoke. Okay. Use mouthwash. Make sure you use a mouthwash that has no alcohol on it. Okay. Try to avoid you eating um, things that are too hot, too spicy, and try to avoid eating pork. Okay. And give it about six to eight weeks in case you do want to change it to any other different jewelry. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I will go ahead and give you one of my business cards. In okay. Case yes. you have any questions. Okay. You can always uh, call me or send me a message on Instagram. Okay. Or do text message. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so with the back dermals, yes. like, cause my friend was telling me that you have, you can't submerge into water for a if, long time. Right, right away when you get them done, no. But okay. after they heal and everything, after a couple weeks, yes you can. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to check. Yes. Okay, and thank, thank you. you. Take care. You too. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, all right, mister. I can't fucking talk. Because the goddamn balls. Mmm, that shit hurt. I don't want to touch it. Ooh. Okay, it, like, honestly, the needle going through didn't hurt. It's more of, like, right now, it's stinging. And I low-key, like, have a little lisp. Like, it hurts to talk. Because I feel like every time I talk, I'm hitting the piercing. Yeah. Lord, I'm going to be so depressed. This is the only thing I didn't really want to, like, because I did want the freaking um, back dermals. But I didn't want to do that by myself. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get this. But now I'm not going to really be able to eat like I want to eat. So that's gonna piss me off. I can't really talk. I don't know if y'all hear the lisp. I'm sure y'all do. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to this. So, ooh, yeah, I'm about to um, drive this 20 minutes home. I'm probably gonna pop some goddamn pain medicine. I already feel it's hurting, especially with me talking to you guys. So I'm gonna get back with y'all whenever I make it back to my apartment. All right, hi guys, I'm back. It's 5.48 in the evening y'all i'm still talking with like a lisp oh wait i haven't talked to y'all huh i don't think i did i talk to y'all in the car i don't think i talked to y'all in the car after the piercing stop the cap but honestly y'all the piercing pain was probably like a two out of ten it's really just now trying to learn how to talk with the piercing and also like it's just sore so like when the ball of the piercing hits the roof of my talk whenever I'm roof of my mouth whenever I'm talking, it starts hurting. But yeah. So yeah, I would rate the piercing, the actual piercing, like the needle going through my tongue, like a, a two out of ten. But as of now, the pain that I'm feeling, I would rate it like a four out of ten. So yeah, I'm really just chilling probably for the rest of the day. It's starting to rain outside, so I'm probably just gonna lay here and watch snowfall. Cause like I really don't want to talk too much, cause the more I talk, the more it kind of hurts. So I think that's really all I'm gonna do. I do need to straighten up my apartment a little bit, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. So if I do that later, then I'm gonna record for you guys. If I don't do it later today, I'll do it tomorrow. And I'm gonna go ahead and record tomorrow. I'm trying to think what what we gonna do tomorrow. I'm saying we, cause I'm taking y'all with me. Um. I do want to go to Target to see if I can find some decorative pillows for my bed. But, like, the nearest Target for me is, like, 30 to 45 minutes. So, uh, we're going to see. Other than that, I think tomorrow I'm going to cook. So, of course, y'all going to see me cook or whatever. And, yeah, I think this vlog is really going to be, like, a chill, chill vlog. I think the most exciting part of this vlog was probably me getting my tongue pierced. Like, honestly... I really like don't be doing that during the day for real, for real. I need to go my butt back to the gym, but like I'm being lazy. So maybe since I'm vlogging, y'all be my motivation to go to the gym this week. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this vlog out. I'm probably gonna stop vlogging on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So I'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow and Thursday and cut it so that it can, the vlog can get edited and then I could go ahead and post this for y'all on Friday. Cause I know everybody been on my ass like, Tish, when the next video coming out? And I know I said I was gonna be consistent. I know I said I was gonna post once a week. So I'm sorry for abandoning you guys last week, but I'm finna lock back in. I got you guys. And yeah, so as of now, this is probably gonna be the end of day one. Like I said, if I do do anything interesting or worth vlogging, I'll go ahead and pick the camera up. But other than that, if I don't pick the camera back up, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. Y'all, I'm trying, I'm trying to get into this wig, but I'm really not getting into it. Like, don't get me wrong, y'all, it gives scalp. Like, this is a glueless wig from Wig Fever. But the only thing is like, it's a closure. I don't know. I think I need to put some baby hairs or something like. I just 
feel like my head look huge. Could you not? I might put a beanie on when I get in my car, no cap. But I don't know why my like camera just be looking so dark. But anyways, y'all, I'm still struggling to talk a little bit because it is piercing. Ooh, y'all, I don't know, I'm not fucking with it. Maybe I need to put some lashes on or something. I don't know, I'm not fucking with it. But, um, so the agenda for today, we're about to go to Home Goods and probably Target. Um, the Home Goods is like 35 minutes from me and it's already 3.30 and then if y'all don't know nothing about like Houston, once five o'clock traffic hit, so I'm probably going to get stuck in 5 o'clock traffic, at least coming back to my apartment. But, um, yeah. So we're going to go to Home Goods because I want some decorative pillows for my bed. I need a hamper. I need a shower curtain. Because, like, I was going to, like, Marshalls, Ross, Walmart, but none of them had no cute, um, like, shower curtains and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to give y'all a little mini apartment tour. I'm not going to show y'all the whole apartment because my stuff isn't decorated, decorate, decorated. And I still got, like, a lot of boxes that I still need to unpack. But I'm just going to give y'all a little mini tour of my bathroom and of my room. So let's start in the room. Let's start in the room. Once you come in the room, yeah, I really want to get a vanity. I think I'm probably going to put my vanity like right here. I also need a bigger mirror, but I'm trying not to rush. Like I'm trying to buy stuff that I feel like I really need and not that I want. But anyways, got the rug, my bed. That's my Tweety, work, Tweety Bird blanket from my childhood. But yeah, I want to get some more pillows. I need some decorative pillows. I want like gray or pink since that's my theme. Um, Here we have my dresser, my TV. I didn't get my TV mounted, but yeah. Over here we have Smokey's bed. Can y'all even see? I feel like it's so dark. Like, let me try to brighten this thing up. Like, but yeah, that's his bed. So that's my room. Then we're going to go over to my bathroom. Over here, we have the shower. We have, yeah, the sink and everything. Toilet. Yeah, I like finally unpacked my closet, but that's like a bunch of clothes that I need to like hang up and stuff, but I gave up, so. Here we have the closet. <clears throat> So what I want to get, I think I'm going to order it from Amazon. I want to get like the shoe containers or like some type of shoe rack where I can like line it up on the, you know, the outside of the wall. Because like the way my shoes are now, and y'all mind you, this is not even all my shoes. But the way my shoes are now, like if I hang up clothes, I'm not going to be able to just walk, you know, right there and search my clothes, search through my clothes. I would like step on my shoes. But yeah, I have my heels up there i got my purses up here and then down here i just have my designer boxes with my shoes and stuff in it i got those so yeah that's all i have for the tour guys so yeah i got we pay a light bill let me turn the lights off but um yeah, so I'm gonna run the home goods. I don't know if I'm gonna go in home goods first or if I'm gonna go in Target first. I might go in Target first because I know home goods is a little pricey, but I know home goods have good stuff. So I don't know which one we're gonna go in first, but and I need to eat, which hopefully I can eat, y'all, because I should have recorded yesterday. Yeah, I was struggling. I got some chicken noodle soup from um Chick-fil-A and I was struggling to eat the chicken noodle soup. Like, so I don't know if I'm gonna waste my money and see if I can eat or if I'm just gonna get like a smoothie or something. But yeah, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. I just got to Home Goods. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in Home Goods first, and then y'all, the list is killing me. Now I can't say my S's, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and go in Home Goods first, and then I'm gonna go to Target. I put my beanie on, y'all, because I'm not fucking with the wig for real, for real yet. But I'm actually glad. I'm probably gonna put a jacket on because it's very windy outside. Like I'm seeing the wind blow the trees. But yeah, I'm gonna go in Home Goods first. I hope I can record in there. I would hope so. I'm going to see. I mean, if they tell me something. I, I hope I can record in Target too. But we're going to see. Um, I don't know why my camera keep going from dark to light. That's so weird. But let me put my jacket on first. And then I'm going to get back with y'all when I'm at Home Goods. Yeah. I don't know why it's so dark. Okay. Let me see if I can sit y'all up. And just like record. Thank you. 
No, you're okay. Because I'm looking to do two big gray pillows and one little pink decorative pillow. People don't think I'm talking to myself. Okay, they had a bunch of pink, but they don't have a lot of gray. $30 for one pillow? And the fact that like half of the stores I go to, they rarely have any gray pillows. I guess there is probably two big pink pillows and like a little gray pillow. I don't know. What's this? Y'all, these pillows is high. Y'all, why am I so nervous? Like, what the fuck? But yeah, these two are okay. Like, this is cute. But I didn't want too much pink in my room. I feel like that's too much pink. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I might just, I'm probably gonna wait to see what they got at Target. And if they don't have anything, then I might come back. We're gonna see. Let me sit y'all back up. Yeah, it's a no for me. Yeah, I feel like I'm, the list, I feel like it makes whatever I'm saying just more funny. bit more and then but i think i'm gonna stop recording because the way it looks it don't look like i'm gonna be getting nothing out of here i was just gonna start back recording whenever i get into target all right y'all i didn't get nothing out of home goods because i couldn't i didn't mm, yeah so i just pulled up to target literally, the good thing was it's literally like right next door to each other so hopefully i find at least something in target because I already drove over 30 minutes and if I made a blank trip and gotta sit in five o'clock traffic for no reason, I'm gonna be pissed. So, so I'm gonna start back recording whenever I get into Target. A few moments later. All right, y'all. Yeah, I know I can't eat, so I got me my Starbucks drink. Mmm, okay. Look. So oh, good. Trying to figure out how to paint y'all make it. But y'all can see. Okay. Whatever. I don't know if it's just me but when i be drinking like cold drinks it be making me cough Woo! okay mm. this is like throws like where's the pillows These some big pillows, but I'm knowing these bitches high. Let me see. Ooh, I'm about to knock this shit down. If I knock it down, yeah, I ain't see that. Ooh. Showing up, knocked off. Ooh. 
Let me see. Eh, plain. Like, where's the decoration? Ooh. God damn. Ow. Hey, these pillows heavy. <laughs> Alright, you know what? That one just gonna be on the floor. I'm sorry. No more pillow? Ain't no way. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Truth is, I'm tired. For real. Cause like... Yeah, I don't want no money. For real. Yeah, I don't. I do need uh, some pillows though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all like me, but like, I only like firm pillows. Like, I don't like no pillows where I'm like sinking into the pillow. I like to feel like I'm actually laying on something. So, mm -hmm. excuse me, extra firm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a disaster. Oh, here you go. It still don't say the price. When I ring it up, I'm gonna just be like, don't worry about it, sweetie. I don't want them. Got down the pillows taking up the whole basket. Okay, cute. Let's go look at some shower curtains. I give up on the pillows, honestly, truly. <clears throat> I'm already seeing ugly shower curtains, so I already know it's about to piss me off. $20 for a shower curtain. And it ain't even cute. I be wanting hampers like this, but they don't be having no tops on it. And I don't, I don't understand why they make hampers without the lid. Because like, if you have guests over at your house, you don't want nobody going in your bathroom and, and looking all in your dirty clothes. Like, where are the lids? Like, no, I'm a, I'd rather some decorative pillows. I'm not even gonna waste my money on that. I'm going to keep going down just in case I need something else, though. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I, like, honestly give up. I think my best bet is to find some stuff online and just order it. Oh, I do need a mitten. Why is mitten $10? I do need a mitten though. Now, adulting is ghetto. Let me let me tell y'all this. Adulting is ghetto. If um if you live with your mama, don't rush it y'all for real. Like and I like I would hear people say this shit. I'm like, whatever. Like, I'm I'm ready to live on my own. It's cute and all. Like, it's good to have your own space. Honestly, it's it's good. But y'all, the way this economy is, everything is so high. And it's like, honestly, if like. I feel like if I lived in like Texas, like for example, if me and my mom lived in Texas, I wouldn't have moved out of her house, honestly. Like, I feel like the only reason I moved out is because I didn't want to stay in Louisiana, Louisiana no more. Like, I feel like if my mom would have been like, okay, we gonna move to Texas in a few months or something like that, baby, I would still be living with my mama. Cause this is ghetto, like, I'm just a girl, for real. But, yeah, y'all, I don't see nothing else that I necessarily need. All this shit is high, and I know Target high in general. So, 
everything else is really a want. I'm really trying to get like needs right now, like stuff that I actually need. But the way it's looking, I'm gonna just have to order stuff online. But um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure. So I'm upset because I drove 35 minutes just to get pillows that I could have got at Walmart and towels and mittens that I could have got at Walmart. Stupid. But I love you guys. I'll be back um, probably whenever I make it back to my apartment. All right, y'all. So my total for those four things, well, I had got me some mouthwash too. Cause like with this piercing, every time I eat, drink, whatever, I gotta like use the mouthwash. But my total with them pillows, the kitchen, the little towel and mitten set, and the mouthwash, y'all, that was fifty five dollars. Fifty five motherfucking dollars. I need a sugar daddy. Some, if y'all papas, y'all uncle, somebody looking for a goddamn sugar baby. Some get at me. Really, nigga. But um. Yeah, the good thing is my cousin, she stays out here. She got some decorative pillows. That's actually the color scheme that I want. So she says she cooking too. And if I want some margaritas. So I'm probably gonna go to her house. I don't know what time. Oh, yes. She making some, okay. Hopefully I can eat it, y'all. Cause I be struggling to eat, but y'all I'm so hungry. I'm gonna make myself eat this shit, no cap. But. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Um, I'm gonna vlog that too. So she said she got a bunch of stuff that she gonna be giving me since she didn't give me a graduation or a housewarming gift. So yeah, at least I have that. But I'm sure I'm about to be in traffic. My bad, I'm texting her back. I'm sure I'm gonna be in traffic, let's see. I don't know, whoa, like. My house is 35 minutes. Um, she said, let me know what time you think I've covered over. I'm probably gonna go back to my house first. Go ahead and take my dog out and everything. Let him use the bathroom. And then I'm gonna go to her apartment cause she only stay like 15 minutes away from me. So um, yeah, I vlog probably whenever I get back to the house or whenever I'm at her house. Cause I don't know how long this vlog gonna be. And I know y'all like lengthy vlogs, but I don't want the vlog to be too, too long. So yeah, I'll be back whenever I do whatever I'm doing next. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, my dog eating, so if y'all hear that, yeah. But yeah, it's like 10 o'clock. Yeah, damn near almost 10.30. I just got back from my cousin house, y'all. To my cousin's house from the jump, y'all. She damn near gave me everything I needed besides a hamper. Like, my girl gave me the decorative pillows. I'm gonna show y'all. I can't show y'all the bed right now because I'm I got my sheets in the dryer. But once I like set up my bed, I'll show y'all. Yeah, pink and, and silver literally what I needed. So, yeah, I got the decorative um pillows. Hold on, yeah. She even had a freaking shower curtain. Which is exactly what I needed. I needed a gray shower curtain. I mean, it's white and gray, but yeah, this is exactly what I needed. And then she gave me some command strips to hang up the post, the little picture that she gave me too. I also got this little soap dispenser thing. But I'm gonna set that up probably tomorrow because I don't have no soap right now to put in there. But um, yeah, we about to go set up my shower curtain. She even gave me this little stool because like I said, I want to get a vanity like for whenever I do my makeup and my hair. So she gave me this stool that she ain't been using and she said you can like raise it up. So hopefully I can raise it up high enough to where until I can get a vanity, I'm able to like do my makeup in my bathroom. We gonna see, let's see. Hold on, let me set, let me set the camera up on this thing so y'all can actually see. Hold on, give me one second. Oh yeah, y'all. Now, it's like until I get a vanity, I can just sit here, do my makeup. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, to um uh, put my shower curtain up. And you know what? <laughs> I'm 
finna get mad. Oh, hope y'all ain't see my booty. Let's see. I'm halfway asleep. I ain't gonna cap. Oh, y'all. So, me and my cousin started watching The Good Doctor because was, we was like looking for something to watch and I saw it. And I told her, like, I saw a lot of people, like, saying how good The Good Doctor is. Y'all, that shit is good. Like, we only watched, like, two episodes. But so far, I was like, okay. So, I'm about to start watching it. It was kind of a little sad. Oh, no, y'all. My camera better die. Bruh. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the shower curtain up. I'm going to charge my camera. And once my like um my sheets are dry and everything and I like make my bed up a little bit to show y'all, I'm gonna come back and show y'all, but sorry. Bye. A few moments later. Alright y'all, I'm gonna make this video a little short because I didn't charge my camera for that long. But this is what it looks like, the shower curtains with the grey rug or whatever. And then this is what my room looks like. I'm gonna have to get like a gray, excuse me, a little gray um decorative pillow. So right now I just put here. I know it don't go, but so that's what it looks like with the gray pillows. Y'all honestly want to be extra. Like y'all know how they be like girls be having like a million <laughs> pillows on their bed. I really want to get like some more regular pillows and get some gray pillowcases and put the gray pillowcases in the back. So it'll be gray, pink, or maybe it should be. Pink in the back, gray, then pink and gray. Yeah, maybe it should be pink in the back, gray, then the pink and gray decorative pillows, and then probably get like a small gray pillow. But yeah, that's what we're looking at like so far. I still need a hamper. But I'm honestly probably just gonna, um, I'm probably just gonna order. Yeah, and then I tried to be extra. Yeah, I still need to get my TV mounted, but I tried to like change the lights behind my TV to pink, but like the pink looks like purple in my opinion, but whatever. But um yeah, I'm probably gonna order like the rest of my stuff online. I might go to like Burlington because my cousin was telling me Burlington, but I'm so tired of going to different stores and wasting my time. So I honestly might just go ahead and just See if I can order everything online. I still need to get some bar stools for my apartment. I still need to get a couch, y'all. But I'm really not rushing it because I haven't found a couch that like I was looking at couches yesterday, but I haven't found that that caught my eye yet. So I'm trying not to rush it. I still want a big old mirror, which I was looking at that at Home Goods today, but I didn't see nothing that caught my eye. But I'm gonna just you know decorate my apartment step by step. I'm not trying to get everything at once because like I said. Y'all, this stuff is expensive. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm about to shower. And I'm about to get in my bed. I'm going to see if I can find The Good Doctor. Hopefully, it's on Netflix or something. Because I'm not sure what we were watching on at her house. But I know it wasn't Netflix or anything. So, hopefully, I can find The Good Doctor so I can go ahead and watch that. And, yeah, y'all, I'm tired. But, yeah, so tomorrow, oh, I need to take that meat out. Oh, uh, because I know I'm not going to remember in the morning. Um, tomorrow I plan on cooking something. Hopefully I can eat a little bit more. When I was at her house, um, I was able to eat a little bit of what she cooked, but I was like slow. I was eating so slow. So hopefully tomorrow I can eat a little bit more. That way I can go ahead and cook on the vlog for you guys. Because let me tell y'all something. If I'm not able to eat tomorrow, I'm not cooking because that's just wasting my food. So hopefully I can eat tomorrow so that way I can give y'all a little cooking on the vlog. And then after I cook on the vlog, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. If I can't eat tomorrow, I'm going to find some, uh, something a little interesting to vlog for y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog off because I'm going to just do three days because I feel like it's already a little long. It might not be that long. I don't know because you really can't tell until the video gets edited. But yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm so tired. Like, y'all can't see it in my eyes, baby. I am tired. Like, for real. But I love you guys. Good night. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning, guys. It's like 10 in the morning. I think. Oh, it's 11 in the morning. Um, I'm about to make me some pancakes, y'all. I look bummy. I don't got no wig on. <laughs> Let me show y'all the outfit. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just about to make me some pancakes. 
Um, I feel like this is the best thing for me to make right now because, you know, pancakes is soft. You know, because my tongue still kind of hurt a little bit. Um, I usually make bacon with my pancakes, but I know the Pearson lady told me to stay away from pork. I don't know how long I'm supposed to stay away from pork, but since it's only my third day of the piercing, I'ma just not make no bacon. I'ma just go ahead and just only make pancakes. Um, I did take out some pork chops um, in case I cook later on. It really depends on like how I'm finna feel when I eat these pancakes. Cause if I can't eat nothing soft like the pancakes, then I ain't gonna with cooking tonight because like, i really wanted to make some fried chicken and some rotel tonight for the vlog but i know for sure i'm not gonna be able to eat with them chips so depending on how i go when i eat these pancakes y'all might get a cooking video later next with this vlog if not then the next vlog i do i'll cook for you guys but this is just gonna be some quick little pancakes I need to go to the store and get some more milk. I hope this is enough milk for my pancakes. Because I know these these pancakes, it be saying like add water, but I always add milk because I like like the buttermilk pancakes. But hopefully that's enough milk because I do need to go to the store. But that's enough rambling. I'm about to make my pancakes because I'm hungry. <sighs> and I usually use my big skillet. Um, but the big skillet dirty and i ain't feel like cleaning it today so i'm gonna just be making one pancake at it because usually with the big skillet i could at least make like two pancakes but whatever i don't care i'm just home but while i'm cooking let me tell y'all i really think um i really think this company i don't know if i'm overthinking but all right y'all so the other day i usually apply to jobs I don't know if that's enough. If it ain't, I'll add some more. I usually apply to jobs on LinkedIn. Um, because I know they be saying like, Indeed be like scamming and using your information and stuff. But my friend was telling me like she got a job interview like within two days after applying on Indeed. So I was like, all right, bet. So I went apply like on Indeed. And I applied to make like six, seven jobs. And A company hit me up yesterday like they texted me and they emailed me and they were like hey we love your application and your resume like um we would love what the let me see exactly what it said yeah i'm not gonna say the company but it was like we received your application and would like to interview you we'll be meeting candidates at our office in houston on thursday april 11th from 12 p.m to 2 30 p.m and they asked what time works best for me so I'm like, I'm like, I don't remember applying to this company. So like I went to my Indeed profile. I went to my Indeed profile to like look, cause you know, you can look and see all the applications that you put in. So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, this company not on here. Like I didn't apply to them, but I was like, I know like sometimes with Indeed and like LinkedIn, certain companies will be looking for certain like candidate so i was like okay maybe they like found my resume on indeed and like they like my resume so i'm like asking my mom no i googled the company first and the location of the company that popped up it was showing it was like 42 minutes from me i'm like Ugh. but i was like but i do need a job so i was like okay let me con still consider it so i like talked to my mom but I was like, I didn't apply to them or whatever. So, that's too thick. But yeah, I was like, I didn't apply to them, so I don't know. So, um, what happened? Sorry, I'm not a good multitasker. Um, so I didn't say anything to the like respond to them. So they called me yesterday, maybe around like four or five o'clock like right before the company if it's a company i don't know right before they were supposed to close so i answered she's like hey i reached out to you um about interviewing tomorrow i just wanted to check to see where you're interested and i was like i was like okay uh and what is this position for and she was like 
a marketing position, entry level marketing position or something like that. Um, and I was like, okay. And I was like, how much the pay is? So she told me how much the pay is. And she was like, um, the manager or whatever would be here from like 12 to whatever time she said, she was like, what's a good time for you? So I told her a time. Then she was like, okay, I'm gonna email you the address um, or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. So we get off the phone. So she emailed me the address, but the address don't match the address that the company is showing on Google. Like, I hope I'm not confusing y'all. But like, basically, like I said, the address that was showing me, it was showing me an uh, address that was 42 minutes away from me. But the address that the lady sent me on the phone, it was like in a whole different area of Houston. Like, it was actually Houston. And the location from Google was like on the outskirts of Houston. But anyway, so I called my dad and I'm like running it down to him. He's looking up the company. He like, yeah, I don't know, Tish. She was like, he was like, um, the address on here don't match, da da da. And I like put in the address that the lady sent me on Google to see like if the company name will pop up, but nothing pop up. I'm like, hmm. So yeah, I was like, mm, I don't know. My daddy like, yeah, he was like, Tish, I wouldn't trust it. I was like, yeah, you're right. So my mama called me this morning. She was like, call the actual, like when I Googled the company, she was like, call that number and ask them like about the person that emailed me and see if like that person actually works there. So I tried to call the company, nobody answered the phone. I'm like, mm, mm, don't worry about it. Because like at this point I do need a job, but at this point I love my life. And at the end of the day, I'm by myself in this big old city. I don't know if this is a sex trafficking thing. I don't know if they trying to kidnap me. If they trying to pick me up. Like, I don't know. So I'm just like, I'm not going to risk it. Because I don't have, it's, I don't have, you know what I mean? Like, the information missing. Like, because I'm like, for one, I didn't apply to y'all. Oh, and then that's what they said too. She was like, it's an entry level position. But we're trying to, um cross train you so within six to eight months you'll be in a management position i don't know y'all it could be an accurate job and i might just be taking my l on it but the way i feel i'm like i don't feel comfortable enough like i said i stay out here by myself something was happened to me my people four hours away so yeah i'm like i'm just not gonna worry about it i'm just Keep on applying to jobs. And yeah, so. Yeah, y'all. I don't know if they were trying to pick me up. I don't know. I really don't. Um, but yeah. Ooh, let me turn this down. Hold on. Well, Nelly. Trying to pick me up. I really need to call my, my mama, y'all, my grandmother on my daddy's side. She, oh, she would make us homemade pancakes like ever since I was a child and I've been telling her I need to get her recipe I think like the next time I go home I'm gonna like go over there and like see if she makes some pancakes and I'm gonna just watch her make the pancakes the whole time and just like write down everything she do because like don't get me wrong the box pancakes be good but it don't be nothing like my mama homemade pancakes so yeah I'm gonna just bow 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 that's that booty meat yeah, I think it's cooking fast. Let me lower it down. Look at them booty cheeks. Oh, cook it real fast. Hold on. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I don't be liking my, my pancakes all crispy like that. Hold on. Huh. I'm annoyed. I literally have a stove on too. Look like I'm gonna just be eating crispy uh, pancakes today. I'm gonna blame y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna blame y'all for the way my pancakes came out. Cause I ain't never make my pancakes this bad. Y'all, I, I made this one good. This one, and then the last one started burning. I, You know what? It's cool, I'm hungry. Mm, I don't know. And y'all like a lot of syrup, so I'll be like, eh. I like a lot of syrup. Yeah. Do I have y'all too high up? 
I don't feel like changing it. <sighs> Do I want to eat the burnt one first? Okay. Ow. It's burnt on the outside, but it tastes good. Mm-hmm. The piercing don't really hurt. It's really the, like, I keep biting on the piercing. So when I bite on it, it makes it hurt. But yeah, y'all. Um, um, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog off here. Because the way this feeling, it don't look like I'm going to be able to eat no pork chops tonight. Ow. I ain't gonna cap y'all. When I eat, it really be making me want to take this shit out. I know I've seen somebody that was like suck on ice and then eat, but damn, I should do some ibuprofen first. Let's see. I don't know. I should have never did it. Fuck. We should just did my back down with, bro. At least I would have been able to eat. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog off. <sighs> y'all don't know. I know I got stuff that good, but yeah, my shit hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog off because I doubt I'm making any pork chops tonight. I'm just gonna say it. Be actually cooking for another vlog. Oh, y'all, my tongue hurt. Let me hear if we end this. Um. I love you guys. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all let me know what uh, um, some videos y'all want to see next for me. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye.